They're out shooting Dayton now, five to one. There's a shot far faceoff circle, blocked by Troyan, and Danbury picks up the rebound. Heading towards the right side of things, shovel, score! Backhander, Tyler Jurich, and he scores his 28th goal of the season. That leads the FHL, and Danbury takes a one to nothing lead, 10.45 to go in period number one. Fancy move by Jurich as he has it set up in the faceoff circle. It bounces in front of his stick, and just a soft, simple move with the stick, backhands it across Brent Troyan. Troyan now with six saves on seven shots, and the Titans draw first blood. It's one nothing backwards as he goes back on the other side of the ice. Scorcia takes the pass and bounces it, and the demolition steal it away. Here is a good shot, score! Scott Kozlak! Nice job by Demolition. They take the pass away from John Scorcia and move it up ahead, breaking his way through. Scott Kozlak for his third goal in his third game in Dayton, Ohio. And we have ourselves a tie game at one with 16.33 to go in the second. Third goal for Scott Kozlak in his third game in Dayton, Ohio for his fourth point of the year. Racing for Jurich. Jurich heading towards the far corner, gets the loose puck again. Now far face off circle, spin around. It's a Troyan score! Tattern finishes the job. Zach Tattern gives Danbury their second lead of the game from Tyler Jurich. Jurich picks up his 15 assists. Zach Tattern on the redirect. His 10th goal this season reaches the double digits and goals. And Danbury reclaims the lead two to one with 8.47 to go in the second. A full strength goal. Great job by Jurich. Held up in the boards, comes back, circles around, takes a loose puck. He'll shoot one at Brent Troyan. It bounces away. Here comes Zach Tattered on the left hand slant, and he'll finish it up. Now, far point. Near faceoff circle, McCauley, 13 seconds left on this five on four. Goes up high over the net of Peerless, and Wall scores! <laughs> that puck bounces in front of Brett Wall. He knows what to do. He fires it home up top of Mike Peerless for his third goal in the season. And Dayton has tied it up for the second time this period at two with 5.55 to go in the second. Brett Wall with a power play goal. Dayton now one for three on the night. Liscum, the man in the box. And Dayton scores their 24th power play goal of the season. One down from what Danbury has. They have 25. Uh, Peerless, Unak fries it away from Rush. Unak. Pushed into the boards. Now here's Henderson. Henderson working it. Swings it. Scores! <laughs> For the first time in this game, the Dayton Demolition have a lead. They lead 3-2 to two with 4.02 to go in the second. And it's Mike Henderson from Martin Unak. Just good. Cleaning the puck, and Henderson takes it around. Peerless waiting on the left-hand side of his net, and Henderson buries it home. Peerless unable to react, and for Mike Henderson, give him his ninth goal this season. Unak will pick up his 15th assist, and Dayton leads for the first time tonight. 3-2 to two demolition, 4-0-2 remaining in the second. Tonight that only has one assist, the first one being Tattern's goal in the second, the lone Danbury strike thus far. They're looking to tie things up, and the slot score! Great vision of the puck. Dean Yakura comes in, sweeps it, and underneath a demolition's legs, we're tied up at 3, 3.34 to go in the second. Yakura comes in and just hammers the back of the door of Dean, or make it Brent Troyan, and it is Dean Yakura with goal number eight in his 30th game for the Danbury Titans. Another tie as Danbury scores their second goal of the second period. 3.34 remains in the second. 
keeps it for Timer and the logo. Timer towards the left, looking for Unak. He had Bennett right there too. Unak goes around the far corner. Timer plays it. Back in the slot, score! Martin Unak! Just like the first goal, it is great passing, and Martin Unak finds it by the crease and puts it on the right side of Mike Peerless. Martin Unak, goal number 12 to lead the demolition, and Dayton has their second lead of the night, 4-3, with 17.58 to go in the third. By the way, both teams have registered their first shot on goal in the third. It's brought to you by Stoner Holsters in Middletown, Ohio. They're not only... Titan and it is cleared away by Atwell. Here comes a two on one for the Titans, a shorthander opportunity looking for Yakira score! Yakira shorthander goal ties this game up at four with 9.46 to go in the third. Great passing, a two on one on the left hand side of the ice right for Dean Yakira. That should be his second and that would be his ninth in the season if true. But the Danbury Titans score it and tie it up down a man. 35 seconds remain on Dayton's fourth power play on the night. And for Danbury, we look at the stats. For the Titans, they have scored their sixth shorthanded goal on the season. They have allowed five of their own. Dayton, they've scored two. They have allowed two. That's the third. Dayton and Danbury tied again at four. Back to Bronner around the left corner. He'll swing it for Atwell near point. Make it far point in front of the bench. Skipping down low. Troyan had it bounce it. Front score! Danbury scores with 117 to go in the third. Looks like it's Phil Bronner. He might have finished the job for the demol or make it the Danbury Whalers as he smiles towards this side of the stands. Bronner might have had the finishing push across to give Danbury their first lead since the second period, 5-4 with 1.17 to go in the third. A jam job right in front of Brent Troy, and he was unable to reach for the rebound. Danbury used that momentum at that time, and they feed it across. Fifth goal allowed by Brent Troy tonight as Dayton trails by one with 1.17 to go in the third. And Coach Pace will use a timeout for his demolition, and we'll take another one with him. Here on the Dayton Demolition Broadcasting Network, Danbury now leads 5-4 with 1.17 to go in the third. <laughs> 